Hello, welcome to another book report. Uh, this time I have a uh, fun book, a conversation between Jeff Bridges and Bernie Glassman called The Dude and the Zen Master. Um, I enjoyed it. I would not recommend it for everyone. If you are interested in Buddhism, this and just Buddhism, this is not a good book for you. If you are just interested in Jeff Bridges and uh, the dude, <laughs> the, 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 the cult following movie that I enjoy, I've seen it a couple times now, called, oh, it's escaping me, uh, The Big Lebowski, of course. If you're not into Buddhism and just into The Big Lebowski, this really isn't a book for you. So it's got a pretty small audience, I would say. It's people that are interested in Buddhism and interested in Jeff Bridges and or The Big Lebowski. Uh, if you are in that group, then uh, definitely pick it up. I got it from my local library. Most library systems probably have a copy floating around. And it was a fun read. It was quick, fun. Uh, it was a conversation. I did wish it was a little shorter, a little more edited, but then it wouldn't be a conversation. So it, it worked. It worked. Um, I'm not actually going to read much out of this, which I don't do. I mean, a lot of my book reports I read a lot, but um, I did really like this section. So Bernie, who is a Zen master, or at least somebody who's studied Zen and practiced Zen for a long time, is saying, uh, well, Jeff says, it's not like you never get knocked over, meaning life gives you something that you can't quite handle. And it, you know, you get knocked over in that sense. And Bernie says, no matter how much sand you put in, no matter how much you practice, there will always be some force that's big enough to knock you over. Life's not about not getting knocked over. It's about how fast you come back. So if you think, oh, I got knocked over and that's a sign that I'm not practicing well enough in terms of Buddhist practice. All that happened was that you met a situation that was a little bigger than you and that gave you new opportunities for more practice, more learning, becoming a little more enlightened, etc. So I kind of liked that concept. And the sand, he's talking about sand. He's like, you know, the, the more you practice, the more you become more here and now, more centered, uh, healthier. You're basically like a uh, one of those weeble wobble things, and you're putting more and more sand into the bottom. So when life uh, knocks you down, you, you, you spring back quicker, right? Because you got more sand there, right? And, and so that's where that quote started. Maybe I should have read a little bit more. Anyway, um, so, you know, a fair amount of Buddhism, a fair amount of life and acting and Jeff Bridges, you know, there was, uh, there was a fair amount of ego in here for a couple guys talking about, <laughs> about Zen and Buddhism, but uh, that's okay. We're all where we're at. And like I said, if you are at that intersection between Buddhism and the Big Lebowski, the dude, and or Jeff Bridges, it's a fun little read. I really enjoyed it.